I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. 50 came up here and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh. We, uh, we want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed or nothing. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, and you did it. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna, if we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. I, sh I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up, and we used to wake up, and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me. And now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck did Puff just, just say? Good. Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen, having a good time. How were you able, how did Puffy let you write this book? Well, first, it's, it's not about him letting me do anything. Okay. Because you know, I'm a, I'm a grown man. So, as long as I'm, I got my own feet, my own hands, my own body things that I need in order to keep it rocking, mm -hmm. I could do whatever I feel. I, I can do with I was making sure I don't do anything to um to hurt anybody else who don't need to be hurt or Involved. I just address those who I need to address. Okay. Two is one thing we always remember is the truth will always set you free. Yes. And and one thing about the truth is it can't be denied. Mm -hmm. Callie made a comment on the for uh, on the on the last episode. What do you, what did he mean when he said this? I remember Diddy saying, if you get on your knees. What was he talking about? I said, if you get on your knees, you're supposed to cry. Oh. If, you're singing, if you're singing a song. Oh, okay. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Wow. We segueing into the Drink Champs interview <laughs> when you was with Nori and Fab and Jada and mm -hmm. everybody. They made a compilation video with you because they said you were sounding real suspect mm. on the on the interview. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course, nah. I didn't see it. No, nah, I didn't see it. You didn't see it. I saw the guy. Oh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw that on world hey, star and hey, on the gram. Check, check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely. That came from Harlem too. By yeah, way. came from Harlem. I definitely would say some, oh my, whoa, the crowd would be like, whoa, did he just say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man, I don't play games. But um, yeah, did the you compilation, nah, I was, I was coming off of being in Miami at night of party and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would you like a reminder? Yeah, sure. Play some. Play, play, hey, yo, play. listen, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. Yeah, I love this drink. Will you put my bag? You. I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Will you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you oh, when you're right scrambling right and here. scraping for no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I, got I no like shit. that. I like when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Will you put my bag? Daddy, yeah. I like when you oh, when you're right scrambling and scraping for shit. That was you scrambling. <laughs> you said, you said, what? You said, I like when you do it like that, Daddy. <laughs> when you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs>
thing. When someone mentions or alludes to anything about, um, you know, the rumors about Puffy being gay or, or any of that, does that shock you? Or does that, yeah. or is that kind of like a, yeah, I can see that? Yeah, yeah because see, I, I don't have to actually see two men engage in sexual activity to mm -hmm. say he's gay, because gay is a way of life. Mm -hmm. So I can look at the way you handle your money. I can look at the way you treat people. I can look at the way that you want it to be all about you. So you gotta look at how women are. Women, women, women have a certain characteristic about themselves that men don't have. Mm -hmm. So then you start looking at, yo, why in the world is you the only rich person and everybody else? Like, why is it so much about you? Oh, man, man, man. Yo, it's Groove here. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday. It's fabulous. <laughs> the only nigga that got the name that I want. Thank <laughs> it. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey. Nah, nah. I mean, I'm You don't caught, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh? I mean, it's. I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. I'm you sure know, we can I'm, put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's. Oh, we have a bunch. We play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I also, I also don't do it because I know I'm. I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth that's just not maybe you know adding up to with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't you know care. You know what I'm saying? I just. But um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. Yo, okay, so check this out. It's me, Tyrese, Ray J, and F. Gary Gray. You know, I'm a type of nigga, I like variety, man. I like people that's unpredictable. I, you know what I'm saying? I like different personalities. So I was like, I never knew they would become what they are today. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I, that sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. So Tyrese kept now, on talking. This is a fight. This is a Floyd fight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tyrese Ooh. keep on talking about like how you got to get back for church. And we just like, yo, the night ain't start. You got to get back for church. We in motherfucking <laughs> Vegas, nigga. <laughs> like, you can go to church next week. You know what I'm saying? Sending your, send your thing. You know what I'm saying? But we in Vegas. Don't be bringing God <laughs> into this city. Don't church. bring a God, <laughs> God into this situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. F. Gary Gray is like, nigga, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got um, Ray J. So Ray J is like, just really like, feeling like Ray J right now. You know what I'm saying? What but um, yo, T.I., thank God that, that he's free at last. Um, Jeezy, oh my God. Um, you know, Jeezy, Busta Rhymes. That's it. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Oh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. An important thing came out, uh, interestingly, the other day. T-Pain said that rappers were working with Frank Ocean less. Did you hear this quote? Not at all. No. I, or, T-Pain was saying rappers are working with Frank Ocean less because he's gay. The reason that's interesting to me is because of, uh, homeboy is just uh, the football player. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Michael Sam. Right. You know what I mean? So we got gay football players coming out. We got singers like Frank Ocean coming out. Is hip hop ready for that? I mean, um, I feel your personal life is your personal life. Yeah. And I feel, you know, in my personal life, you know, um, you, you, do, you do whatever you do. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's your business. You know what I mean? And um, I stay out of all the, all the other stuff. You know what I mean? Trying to press you again? He thought he was doing a double press. A double Ooh, press. A double press. Ooh. Your shit get wrinkled again and you press it again. That's what he was gonna do. Damn. I guess. Ray J, I ain't know it was like that. You did that. This is new news. You got a lot of gangster in you. Like the double press. Double man. Press. And then what was the first thoughts in your mind? Man, like, Ray, Ray J, Ray is a lucky him. guy. I see him at the so what I what I would do is I would always go up to folks just in just in general. And I, I, I urge all of the folks out there, you know, who aspire to be in different things. When you see people just go up, sometimes it's not always about you saying, "Yo, I need an internship," or "Yo, I want to work." It's, it doesn't work like that. Folks have you have to establish a rapport. Mm -hmm. Just be memorable. You know, say something smart. Say something. You know, you're paying attention to the culture. You're paying attention to what you're into. And I would do that. And 
I started to realize. So I would literally walk up to Puff and, you know, and I'd be like, you want to do this, but you can't do this and walk off. Talk about my clothes. <laughs> because it's like, because okay. it's like, because <laughs> it's kind of like, no, because you know, it's like <laughs> celebrities, they're people, you know, they go to the bathroom just like any of us. Right. It's like, I ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't paying my bills. That seems like such a risky thing to do. Yeah, but with what somebody do I have to like lose? him. Yeah, so, and he would always be like, as I say it, I walk off. He's like, who was that? What was that? Who was that? Like, right. what? Security never tackled you to the ground? Nah, just like, it wasn't a big, it's like tongue in cheek, like whatever. And so, it became like almost like an inside joke. Every time he's, I see him, it got to the point where I wouldn't have to say nothing. Say, you know, you're at the party, you looking around, then you see this dude again. That's like, I'm like, how you doing? What's up? No, I'm just pointing like, yeah, <laughs> that ain't it. Ooh, like you know what I'm saying? Man, it's been one of them motherfucking nights. Man, I should have took some pictures before. Nice job. It's the end of the night, and it was motherfucker. So we go, we coming to you live. Um, Diddy late nights. Um. When anything can happen, I'm just vibing, so why? You gotta keep, you gotta keep the hair. Gotta yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this hair in Toronto. In the room. Hey, yo, let me ask you a question. That boy fan of the year, so vibration. So if I make it out tonight, try to stop me out with this one, man. It's such a vibe. Yo, Toronto, we come to your city, okay, Atlanta, copy. Houston, One Dallas. Play whatever you want to play, baby. Just here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shake to that, shake to that. Work, work. Elaborate that in the intro. Hey, man. <laughs> Man, everyone's gay once in a while. I'm not gay. This How about we do this? 50 came up here and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. I'm going to have a party and we had parties, but I was more like just trying to just vibe, like just see where I look, did you look miss back me? on where I became. Did, did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm I saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I miss it was his birthday party. Puff, man. Man, I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eyes, eyes, brother. Oh, eyes. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that. And he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. I thought he needed some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call. No, I don't call. I don't call him gay. I said, let I, me read it. Let me read okay, it, read. Fifth. Oh my God! Sorry, I can no longer Shades help confused. you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner thieves. In theaters, January. Oh, that's <laughs> why I get tired. Then the thieves get tired. Yeah, that's a yeah, promo. <laughs> Yes, he so said gay and happy. No, no, no. I'm just saying to you, look, look. You know what I'm saying, Jackson? Like, that's why I get invited to Puff Party. <laughs> you know the reason. Listen, listen. I'm only saying that because of the, the what's the name interview? Nori. The drink champs. Yes, interview. yes, yes. And he go, when they do, when he do it, he says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what is he talking yeah, about? Yo. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> no, right. Incense has gone off. When Incense people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're going to make me mess up the wedding. Oh, oh that's man. a nice gesture. Let's Let me go. get out of, no, dude, you take me, that's still what a guy oh, says to a nice girl. <laughs> what you been getting out of the fifth. Hey, yo, Rastafari, Rastafari. Hey, yo. Don't do that. Yeah, that's what I said. That's why I said. Let me pick it up. He was talking to the boy. I'm going to pick it up from right there. This I, like, this I gotta pick it up from right here. Look at it, nigga. This is a very nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 bro. Can't so kill him. Cool. Look, 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 look. Come tell the story. Bro, so bro, 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 we're intoxicated. Listen, bro, bro. listen, listen. 
Listen, oh, Groove, oh, Groove you helping me build that yo, beautiful, yo, nice guy, Rastafari you brand of yours, huh? Yeah. I, I see in, you, man. I'm... Don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> Buffy do some like, like a little fluffy stuff Now going you guys on. are all in some hip hop beef, okay? Nah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody got nothing to do with this. What Buffy said Zero about, about, like, what what Buffy said right about what do you want to do with Fabulous? That's nothing to do with you, Jamal. <laughs> but does it ever affect your relationships in Hollywood in like Fifth Stop? You No. Gay bashing. It doesn't, nah, cause they know that I'm just I'm poking at what he's saying. <laughs> and plus I'm a rapper. Don't give me mogul, because when you get mogul, you get in trouble. There's new standards. <laughs> I kind of feel like people... I wanna, I'm a rapper. I kind of feel like people Listen, know what comes with here. 50. Like, they kind of know what comes with you. Right. It's because mean. it's been very consistent. So you can't come to me and say, why did you say this when I've been saying this the entire time? Like, like Google true. me. Huh? Yeah, yeah like Google. Google. It's 150 me. times I said that. <laughs> Rick Ross. Rick Ross. What? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yo, why, why are you in fifth? Just, hey yo, why y'all got? Hey yo, I don't have no beat with with with. I, with, I don't know why. With, with fifth, he loves me. He loves me. Do y'all really can't have see a beef? It? I mean, y'all can't see. No, it. we can't see. Y'all can't man. see that he loves me. But see, you really hold on. You really think that's hate? You really when you really break it down? You've been out here a long time. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. Okay. But why? But why not? Y'all just y'all both passionate. Y'all both. I don't know. I, I, yo, check this out. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. Both the same. No, Speaking we are not. Okay. We, we are not the same. <laughs> but I mean, we are not cut the way from the you same guys work and work hard. Yeah, and 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 um, you know, I mean, I respect that. I don't. I don't never hit him with no, you know, nothing. I don't even think of no other man, man. Besides, if I'm thinking about another man, I'm thinking about uplifting. I'm not thinking about all that. All them nats. You know, they, they can't really touch me. Y'all at the end of the day, y'all see and y'all know what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, the the track record. Y'all know y'all know the business acumen. Y'all know the community service. Y'all know what I'm about. You know, and um when he does that, it's 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 like funny to me. I don't really take it personal. I know he has a different sense of humor and he's just not in my life. We don't have to never cross paths and um I will never say nothing negative about him, you know, because that's just not me. It feels like something must have happened though, like that we just don't know about behind the scenes. He loves me. That maybe a situation, a deal went bad. Nah, some, I don't know some, what it is. Sometimes, um, sometimes people that, that that feel like they don't like you and they act like that, they really love you. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like you know just saying it to say you know. But I, guess I mean, like I mean, it's something, it's, it's something about me that has them on me all the time, and I'm not going nowhere. about this other allegation on your uh dinner time that was like whoa right did you really Hold see on. a dildo <laughs> that's a that's where in the, the bathroom my son could stop breathing right now now, on his on his life, <laughs> on my son's life, could stop breathing right now. Me, Puff, okay, Puff had a a brown, and that's no disrespect to Puff. Puff wasn't there, so I don't know. Just telling you, Puff had a brownstone, I believe, on Thirty Fifth Street, and like Park Avenue between um, Park. It's some brownstones down there, I believe thirty thirty fifth or thirty sixth, and Mace was staying there, and um. I went to go meet him down there one day so we could bust a move. This is when he just signed with Bad Boy. He didn't even have an album out yet. He was just getting signed. And I went to use the bathroom, and it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. And Jeez. when I came out, I asked him what's about. He like, that's homeboy's joint. You know, I don't know what it's about. He always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, well, this one your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where his bathroom at, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's where the my son can stop breathing. I but swear to God. But you know what, guys? Use dildos on girls sometimes. That's true. We seen some. What he know. said? I'm not saying he did. Right. I'm just, just telling you what thing. I said. It was just awkward. I'm not saying that right. he then It was for either one of their personal use. I'm just telling you what I saw. Well, you gotta you gotta look at it like this, you know, and and I say it best like this. Okay. A person like Mace that comes to Puff that wants a record deal. 
automatically is willing to do anything that he got to do to have that deal because he automatically he asked him for a record deal so then you got to look at it and be like you know what you willing to sell your soul for this for this shit right here and if you're willing to sell your soul you won't do anything you willing to do damn anything damn you mark so, curry like for example please <laughs> they might say hey you know what i'm gonna give you a million dollars i'm gonna give you two million i'm gonna give you a hundred million but before i do that i just want to take a couple of pictures with you with your shirt off and your pants off too. And then you be like, $100 million, or or shirt and no <laughs> pants. Okay, okay, that's what they be doing. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So then now, here go your $100 million. So then now you sitting there with your girl. She got the diamonds and the fur on. She look good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, you see somebody in the background flashing those pictures in that envelope at you like this, telling you to come in. We need to talk to you. You be like, wow, now you got me by the balls. Yes. You understand? Yes. So then that's when a lot of things come in to play too, without me having to speak on other things. Mm -hmm. When somebody come to you and say, you know, I'm exposed to your people, everything that you've done to get this money, you be like, yo, man, that'll make you kill yourself. He said something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo, yo. What is he talking about? Uh, <laughs> going off. Stuff, when Ensign's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. When the marriage failed uh, in the mid 80s, I opened myself up to the possibility that I could have a relationship with a man as well as the two that I had with a woman. From your perception, how, right. how bad was the contract between Biggie and Bad Boy? Like well, how much he, money was he literally being robbed of? Well, you know, Biggie Smalls had Junior Mafia. Mm -hmm. And Biggie Smalls also had a friend who was Undiz. So they were already starting their own record label before Biggie died. Yes. You remember, I believe Biggie was getting mm -hmm. into his own Brooklyn Mint, the closing mm -hmm. line and all of that. Mm -hmm. So Biggie was already on his way out the door. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just remember the stories like when, when Biggie would want money from Puff and, and like Puff, he, he would be like, they doing the show, Biggie wouldn't show up to the show until... 10 minutes before the show, yes. you understand? And Puff would be like, where is he at? Where is he at? And then that's how he would get his leverage. Like Biggie knew that Puff needed him. Mm -hmm. Biggie, if you break it down and really look at the situation for what it truly is, Biggie Smalls made Bad Boy. Bad Boy is Biggie Smalls. You have it on page 105 and you said, in many ways I was in the same spot as Biggie when he signed with Bad Boy. I was in a, a poor cat who hadn't finished high school, but I had musical talent. Puff was rich. Puff was a rich cat with no uh, musical talent, but also with a stable of mostly white advisors and lawyers who taught him how to put voodoo on his artists. And you went and said, yeah. you went on and said that after Biggie signed the contracts that Puff forced on him, for example, he walked away with only twenty-five thousand to avoid people finding out just how broke Biggie was when he was killed. Puff announced that he was giving the Fallen Stars family several million dollars, but if he had uh, given Biggie a fair contract, Biggie would have had plenty of money to take care of his family forever and wouldn't have needed Puff's one-time charitable don donation. That's a very, very powerful statement. And I was like, wow, you pretty much said that, you said what everything, everything we all pretty much uh, thought or we had heard. I mean, well, uh, as a single man, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I have no shame in my game with okay. that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's where I was at the time. And we went to um, uh, Florida. We got invited to a, a Puffy party, I the New Year's Eve party. Uh -huh. Went to the party, you know. All uh, dudes? Yeah, yeah. Nah, it was actually a good party. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it, it was at, on again. South Beach, right? Right. So then we, you know, we go to the house. And then, you know, uh, he, he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards. Right? I was like, right. okay, cool. So 
Superhead is with me. You know what I'm saying? Karen, Karen is, is with me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Superhead. Yeah. So she takes me. She, you know, she Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey man, you know the um that that girl you you know about the girl you. I was like, yeah, nigga, I don't, everybody know, but you know what I'm saying? What's happening? You know, what I'm he's like, uh, you know, that's the devil, man. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what the you mean got, that's the devil? The devil got a pretty mouth. Yeah, and I was like, what you mean that's the devil? <laughs> You know, and then he was like, yeah, man, she, she videotaped your fingers in the boot. That's a new movie. You know movie. what I'm saying? I was the like, what? The devil sucks like, penis. Hey, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? We rewind, rewind. I heard a penis and a finger in the yeah. ass story. What? She said, he, he, he so told, Puffy tells you he that gonna, she. She will videotape you with fingers in the booty. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what, you know what, what does, does that mean? mean? Confession. So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He, he well, you said you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. And I was, was like, Was he okay. limping? No. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away and the nail fell out of his boot. No, I'm going to clear this shit up. Because I'm not going to have my name. I ain't going to have my name out there crazy I'll like that. Go ahead, go ahead. So then, so then, so then he say, so then she say, oh, boy, uh, I told him what she, he told me. And she was like, oh, she started laughing like a mother. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you later. So then, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to. Make a big deal of it, whatever. It's only so, fair. so then he's you no. Know, then then <laughs> I guess he's had some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we get into the truck. He said, "Let's go to this club." So everybody following the, the, the car. The car is fucking silent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get to this club and then we walk in the back, the white back way. It's a VIP lounge. Ain't nobody in there. And then you know the club is going. It's all jumping. And then I'm sitting there with with old girl. So I, so so then so then, so then uh, you know he he's doing his business. We go down and get a drink. You know we sitting there bobbing to the music, and then he say, she point over the corner. It's two dudes kissing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. Then it's girls in the club too, and then she point another direction. It's another dude over there like butt ass naked dancing. Well, I've been. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey. We take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We lead the club so directly. I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see nobody. Gay. Yeah, it was it was a suspect. Lot of male, a lot of lot, a lot of suspect. Exchanges. The club. You could called. chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I never blame it on I, the. I, I, I've I, I, been in a I, gang. I, I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I ain't never I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of activity. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. So we took a cab home back to where I was. You know what I'm saying? I don't play games, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. I don't play games. When you wrote I Love the Pussy, was you thinking of dangling your dice on Lance's forehead? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs>